Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Margaret. I am Margaret, rather, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, and I'm here to do a garage sale and thrift store jewelry haul. I got to go out Saturday morning for a little bit and hit a garage sale, or a few garage sales, there was a community garage sale, and then later that afternoon, my husband and the guys took me to a charity shop to go check out their jewelry counter. They had a sale going on. So it was buy one, get one free necklaces and buy one, get one free bracelets. So I really stocked up because I need more jewelry apparently. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I got from the garage sales first. And I'm gonna explain what I picked up and why I picked it up. And then I'll share with you what I got from the thrift store. I just whacked my hand on this table over here. That was fun. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the garage sale stuff first. And I apologize in advance. I'm starting to get set up in my room. I don't have my stuff up behind me um, and the lighting is not set up yet. So it might start getting darker as we go along. So crossing my fingers, we still have good light throughout the video because I don't have lights set up yet. Anyway, um, and I am live. So if you're here, thank you so much for coming to check it out. And um, yeah, hi. Hi, Christine and Jen. Hello, Jessica, Holly, and Peterson. Hi, Angela and Nancy. Thanks for coming. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. I My sister was in town. I know this is a little off topic. My sister was in town and I didn't get a chance to come do a video with her because we had like 24 hours of massive sister time. So I didn't get a chance to, to come have her come on and and all that. So maybe next time she and I can do a video together. Okay, let's dive into some jewelry. How about it? First thing, since I said, let's dive into some jewelry, guess what, it's not jewelry. <laughs> it is a box. But I also pick up jewelry boxes. And this isn't technically a jewelry box. This is a, it's a Paula Deen box. But I really, really liked it. It was two bucks at the garage sale. And it's got one of these like swivel opens, like so. And when you open it, it looks like, I'm gonna go with coffee bean or if you'd rather a uh, butt crack, but whatever, you know, you can put your jewelry in there if you want. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> if we're gonna go there, let's just start early, right? But it, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what it technically, maybe like a salt cellar was probably what it originally was, but I really, really liked it. And I thought, oh, that would be a nice, um, you know, <laughs> something to hold jewelry in. Uh, so I picked that up. There was actually a lady that was selling some Pampered Chef stuff, and she had some really cool um, wooden pieces, and I did not, um, I didn't get it. Uh, but anyway, I really, like you say, yeah, it's, Tam says it's a beautiful wood grain. Isn't it beautiful? Um, I really, really liked it. So I did, it was like two bucks, sold. So I did get that. I started that. I figured, I mean, I knew that would draw you out, Dan. I was like, I'm just going to start. Like, we'll probably end up. Why not? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's for salt. I think it's like a salt, like, I think they call it a salt cellar. But it, it was clean. There were, I don't think it's it had ever been used. So, okay. Um, next up, let's see what's a good one. Um, I picked up this bracelet. I have one very, very similar to it. And it's got this really cool woven, it's a cuff. I generally do well with bracelets like that. Um, I paid three bucks. I did pay up a little bit for it. Let me take this off. Uh, and I, I didn't check it, but it's not magnetic, which means it's, you know, I don't see a silver mark in it. So it could be like just stainless steel or something. Yeah. The lady had some other nice pieces. So I'll show you in a second. I did not hang on. I'm peeling off the sticker. I didn't see any kind of, you know, maker's mark or silver stamp or anything like that, but it's still really nice. So it's a nice, nicely made, like, cuff piece. Can you see it okay? Like so. Um, this is one that, honestly, I, it, I would consider keeping, but I'm not. All right, so let me set it down. I didn't, I laid it all out nicely, but I didn't make a plan for it. Where am I going to put this when I'm done? Showing you. Okay, so at the same garage sale, I... I paid up on this next piece as well, but wait till you see it. It's gorgeous. Wait, it's backwards. It's gorgeous backwards and forwards. <laughs> All right, so here is this piece. It's a nice like collar, and then it's got this beautiful like drop on it. Let me get it up close so you can see it. So it looks like like this. 
Isn't that really pretty? I paid five bucks for that. But I felt like it was really like enough of a statement piece that I could make, definitely make my money back on that. Um, hang on. Oh, <laughs> the necklace. Yeah, this was my, my, um, I got this necklace, this one. I bought it for myself. I know it sounds silly, but when, I, when my channel hit 20,000 subscribers, I was like, I want to do something nice for myself. So this was my 20,000 subscriber present to myself for the channel. Yeah, and I haven't, because we moved and it was packed up and all this stuff, and I was finally getting unpacked, I, I pulled it out and was like, I'm wearing this tonight. So there, and I did. Yeah, isn't it cool, Tim? It's like kind of an ancient Egypt or Native American kind of, it's really like really a statement necklace, super, super cool. There's no maker's mark or, I mean, it's totally just costume jewelry, but it's really, really pretty. I'm thinking if I lit, you know, if I list it, when I list it, um, it'd be, I, I'd probably put it up for 30 bucks or more, probably more. Yeah. Um, oh, thanks Peterson. Yeah, I, I really, you know, and I'm so, I don't spend a lot of money on myself, so I appreciate you saying that. I don't do a lot. For myself mostly it's for the guys I do um, okay so the next thing I picked up I picked up some jewelry um, let's see so yeah a lot of these were 50 cents so I got these earrings and oh thank you um, I picked up these earrings at this garage sale and I wasn't quite sure if they were gonna be silver or not because I but I could see like the little writing on there you see the writing it turns out when I brought them home they they're um, they say stainless steel, which, you know, I'm fine with that. But they're really cute, like hoop earrings in the shape of hearts. They're nice, nice, nicely made. And I figured for 50 cents, I'll take it. So um, I, I don't know what I'll list them for, but they're, you know, they're in really amazing shape. And they seem to be nice, really nice quality. Um, yeah, exactly, Tam. Thank you. I, and I don't a lot, so. <laughs> okay, so the garage sale where I picked up the big, like, bib-type necklace, the collar one, I also got this one, which is pretty interesting, I felt. I think somebody made it. Okay, so it's got, like, this toggle closure and these, like, seed beads. Wait till you wave them. Wait for it, right? Um, it's got these pearls and then these big flat disc sort of beads. But then... <laughs> Then it's got this mahjong tile here, and it looks, I don't know the names of mahjong tiles, but it looks like a mushroom. I don't know. It looks like a mushroom to me, like so. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, I don't spend a lot on myself, so. Okay, so I didn't check it, you know, because sometimes mahjong tiles, oops, Sometimes mahjong tiles can be Bakelite, and I didn't check it at the time. I was just like, yeah, I'll take it. Okay, it's really cool. So I'm going to – oh, I just put lotion on my hands. I don't know how – I'm going to rub it on the on the <laughs> armchair here, see if I can smell it. Hi, Granny Josie. Hello, hello. Mm, yeah, okay. So the yellow part at least, I'm not sure. Yeah, so this part, this yellowy part, is Bakelite. The green part is, chances are highly likely. Um, yeah, okay, I'm rubbing it. That sounds really weird, but um, if you know about Bakelite, if you rub it, rub it, rub it, and then smell it, it smells like formaldehyde. Now, the green part doesn't really smell that much, so that's a curious, curious. Okay, anyway, so this part, this part for sure is Bakelite. Um, but yeah, this necklace, so I think somebody made it. Um, and so when I bought it, the lady even said, do you know what that is? And I said, uh, it's a mahjong tile, right? She was like, yeah, I didn't think most people would know what it was. I was like, yeah, I'm good. It's cool. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not exactly sure what, it seems like a one-of-a-kind type of necklace, so I'm not exactly sure what I would list it for. It's cool. But like uh, like this lady said, she was really into mahjong, so there are still ladies that are really in the mahjong so I guess they would want a necklace with a mahjong tile okay next let's see <laughs> yeah it's different thanks for coming to hang out you guys I just realized oh let me go see how many friends we have watching oh go over there and hit the thumbs up thank you for coming everybody okay next I got this little bag 
for two bucks. And the reason I got it is because the bracelet that was in the bag looked like it might be silver to me. And uh, I had a very limited amount of time to go garage selling this weekend. And uh, we had a birthday party at 10. So I had to be home by nine to get ready. So wah. I didn't have a whole lot of time to go garage selling. So I had to buy it like kind of on a, like, uh, if I saw it and like, okay, just I'll check it out later. Let's just buy it and go. So I didn't get much time to check out what all was in the bag. I saw the, the bracelet that I wanted. Oh, thanks, Granny Josie. Yeah, we were just talking about that. I got I, that was one of my presents or one of my presents for myself. It was the present I got for myself um, for hitting 20,000 subscribers. I figured why not, right? Um, okay, so one of the things in the baggie is this necklace. This was not the reason I bought the baggie. There are four things in the bag for two bucks, so it was 50 cents a piece. This is why I bought it. Oh, thanks, Peterson. So this is the necklace. It's this kind of like long chain with these discs. But I'm noticing, which I didn't notice before, there is a hang tag. And let's take a peek at the hang tag. Is it anything I recognize? Hmm. There's a stamp. It almost looks like a swan, but not really. Um, let me peek. That looks like a little stamp, but I'm not exactly sure. Mm, no. It looks like maybe there was a stone in there that's gone. Long gone. But it is magnetic, so. Oh, well. But it's really cute. I mean, I really think somebody would still like it. You know, oh, look at it on, on black. Um, okay, so there's that. There was a pair of earrings, like so. Just like a simple... Okay, again, I like to check just in case. I know it's not silver. It's not attracting to the magnet, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Okay, then there is a bracelet which matches the necklace. It's a stretchy one. Pardon me. Um, and then this is the, the bracelet I bought it for because I thought, oh, that looks like it might be silver. Okay. So it's missing the safety chain. I love bracelets with little safety chains on them. You can see there were hooks where the safety chains used to be. And it's got this kind of um, hidden closure where you have to press the, the this, the this, the button, or whatever you want to call it. Er, now it doesn't want to open again. But what I'm not seeing straight off is a mark. Let me just drop that in my lap because that's fun. So I don't see any kind of mark on it, but I still think it's silver. Hang on. My giant wand. But no, it's not magnetic. And normally, like, a, you might see the silver mark in this area, like right around the closure. I'm, gonna, I'm going in. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, no, I don't see any kind of mark on it. But that, you know, again, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Where could you get a safety chain? That's a good question. I guess you could just kind of make your own, right? I guess you might just have to get like a little length of silver chain to hang on it. Um, so this is a piece that I might, you know, I might have to just test. I mean, it looks like, I mean, I really think it's silver, even though there's no... <laughs> <laughs> um, even though there's no mark, uh, I really, I do still think it's silver. I don't see any kind of mark on there. Okay. Oh, wait, look, I found it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so good. There it is. So, 925, and then there's something else. I've looked all over this thing, I swear. And now, of course, I see it right there. Okay. I would say use it. Yeah, I broke into, that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe Hobby Lobby and sell some silver. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, I, and I'm sure I have some chain, like silver chain that has the broken clasp or something like that. Yeah. And just get the little um, little pliers. If you see me laughing randomly at something and you have no idea, if you're watching this later, just check the chat. <laughs> okay. But, you know, that's why we do this live. So, okay. Um, I know he is Peterson. <laughs> But you know what? That's why we love Zim. <laughs> I need somebody to, to, to keep me laughing, right? 
Okay, so next, these earrings I picked up for about 50 cents at a garage sale, and they are moon and stars. These ones have the cutout stars. It's got a moon. I, again, almost would want them for myself. This is a good time of year for these. They actually might not look that bad on me. Okay, so these are a maybes. I have to say I have way too many maybe. I'm going to keep it jewelry. But maybe. I mean, really, I think I have a dress these would go with. <laughs> I have a dress that has, like, these, like, tarot cards all over it and a little collar. These actually might look good with that. Okay, let's just set that to the side. I've just talked myself into keeping that for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Aren't they cute, Tim? Yeah. I, I, and this is the thing. When I was at the um, thrift store talking to the guy, um, and he was saying... He, he did ask me because I was buying a lot. And he's like, are you a reseller? And I was like, yes. However, I do keep a lot of, you know, I do keep a lot of stuff. So these are ones that I might keep for a bit. I mean, come on, right? You find such unique stuff. That's what I've, I've been telling my girlfriends lately. My new girlfriends, by the way. Um, since we moved, I've been making some new girlfriends. I'm like, I just, this is how I find cool stuff. You got to go out thrifting. You got to go garage selling. You find the most amazing things. <laughs> Thanks, Buckeye Mom. Okay, and this is another bracelet. I love bracelets like this that are beaded. And this one looks good for like Mardi Gras. This would be good like, um, because it's that purple and green. Uh, oh gosh, saints, right? No, saints aren't purple and green. What are they? They're like black and silver, aren't they? Okay, anyway, Louisiana colors. <laughs> They're that, that purple and green, really woven. And then they have this, I think they call it a frog clasp, like so, with a little, uh, usually you would have one more, but this one, I mean, maybe this is hand, I, I have a feeling this is handmade, homemade. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Yes, Mary Post, isn't it nice? I'm going to hold it right up close. Could you imagine? I mean, I guess... Somebody makes this kind of stuff, so. Yeah, I think this one's, again, handmade. And I think I spent about 50 cents for that. Black and gold. Yeah, black and gold is the saints. There we go. But definitely purple, green, Mardi Gras. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting that back in the little baggie over here. Come on now. Get in. Then I picked up... This necklace, again, I think is silver. I was in a rush because I was like, I have an hour to garage sale this morning. I got to get this moving. So I didn't get to check anything too close. Thought I'd wait for you guys, but I'm pretty sure this one's silver. And it's an open flower. Like so. On a chain. Oh, yeah. On an Indian bead loom. I would, uh, yeah. I would think I would like doing that, but then I'm not sure I have the patience for it. Um, hi, Lydia. I did not get to have a video done with my sister. We didn't, we just didn't get the time to do it. We had a lot of fun at, at Target, which I think would have probably made an excellent video if we had been live. Um, this says 925. Well, it says Italy on one side. I'm guessing it says 925 on the other. Let me see. Uh, that one's got like a symbol, but I have a feeling. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's got like a, a Z or a sideways N. I am going to look for one more sign over here. Hi. Yeah. Okay, so the back of this little open flower says it has 925 on it. Here we go. Like so. So it is silver. Yay. Let's see. Um, what did I do to meet new friends after the move? You know what? And I I joined some um, homeschool groups during the summer, and I just feel like I lucked out because what's happening now with the homeschool group I'm joined is what I thought was going to happen when I moved to Friendswood. I thought it was going to make all these mom friends. It was going to be amazing. I was going to have such an amazing time and you know, like make amazing friends. And it just never, I like never, I clicked with people, but some, I don't know. Anyway, it didn't happen. We just didn't find the love connection. But here I've, I joined this group 
and it just all sort of fell into place. And I've met, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I, because it's been so long and it, I don't know, it sounds nerdy, but it's been so long since it's been like somebody on Facebook is asking like, Oh my gosh, are you going to be there on Monday? I know it sounds like such a small thing. Like, are you going to be there? And somebody's asking me if I'm going to be there. And I'm like, oh, you're asking me, am I going to be there? Yeah, I'm going to be there. No, oh no, I'm not going to be there. You know, that kind of stuff. I mean, I know it sounds nerdy, but I just like back home, I had like maybe two or three close friends and I didn't have that. Y'all are going to make me cry, but I'm super excited about it. So there's like the same group of moms that, you know, I'm seeing regularly and just from joining this one particular, I think it's just the whole group was sort of new and everybody just kind of starting together and I just kind of happened to be there. I don't know. I'll just make that excuse, <laughs> but it's been really nice. I don't know. So crossing my fingers, but then I get nervous that I'm going to do something that messes it up. Okay. Yes, exactly. Peterson. It's so nice to feel missed or wanted or somebody else is thinking about it. like yesterday. I was so excited. Elaine was here. I was like, oh, somebody, tagged me that like they saw this like somebody had posted a it was like a lego craft and this lady mary was like it tagged me in it like oh i think margaret would like this and she tagged me and i was like that was such a big deal to me i know it sounds geeky but i was like she like saw that and thought margaret would like that and she tagged me oh that's so sweet anyway so i was pretty i don't know so Yes, I, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm I'm really meeting some nice people, so I'm, ex I'm excited about that. Okay, <laughs> let me move on with the with the. I've decided I just don't care about the comments anymore. <laughs> so I get some nasty ones. Okay, so I got this. I did pay five bucks for it, and I still am not exactly sure what it is. Um, it does say what it is, so that helps. The Golden Rule Marble. This is uh, timely, isn't it? Um, I do. I really like you. So I, I, the lady that was hosting this garage sale was, she was very chatty. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank, yes, Sally. Feels, you like me. You really like me. That's how I feel with this group. I'm like, plus, okay. Cause I wear like fun dresses and stuff. I like to wear like, you know, like my tarot card dress or my, wore my skeleton kitty dress the other day. I have like a dress that has like, like Miss Frizzle, okay? You know Miss Frizzle from um, Magic School Bus? Like I love dresses that are like fun and silly and funky and like fun patterns. And and so um, back home, it wasn't quite as appreciated, I don't think. I think people were more into like trends and like looking trendy and cool and like they're out of a magazine. And here it's like, oh my gosh, where did you get your dress? I love it. You know, so I just, I don't know. It feels nice to feel like I'm not just this weirdo. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm so glad, Joe. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely, bunch of carrots, yes. And this is why, I know some people that watch later get frustrated when I talk to people in the chat, but I know from personal experience, and I'm talking to you, Bonafide Hustler, <laughs> because I, I big heart love you. When Sometimes I'd go in and watch his show, and he would just like say, oh, <laughs> somebody in the chat said, da 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 I'm like, dude, you know me. It's a me. Say my name. <laughs> just say it, right? Okay, and I really do. He's just such a nice guy, so I'm sorry if he takes that like I'm picking on him. I'm not picking on him. Okay, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, um. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But yeah, just, I mean, it, it means a lot when somebody says like, hello, how are you, Firecat? Nice to see you. <laughs> you know, hello, Ariana. I saw your name in the chat. You know, that kind of stuff really, and that, it means something. It like feeds something. I'm sorry, Chris, if you're watching this. I'm probably not, probably never going to watch this, but here, here's heart. I'm going to give you a big, there, big heart. Okay. <laughs> Oh, see, Firecat, you said you're younger than a lot of moms around there. Oh, see, and I'm older than a lot of the moms around, you know. I mean, so back home, my friend AJ is 10 years younger than me. Um, so it's a big deal. Exactly, Christine, for sure. So, 
I don't know. The ladies here maybe haven't found out how old I am yet. I'll just pretend like I'm really young. Okay, okay, okay. What do I have? So it is just like what it said. It was a, it's the golden rule marble. But Tim, you do. You've got video, you, well, you do videos and you do live videos, right? Once you, once you get into it and like it, and especially when it's just people, you know, in the chat and you're like, oh, hey, how, you know, it's like, I don't know, feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so on the little marble, it does have the, I think the golden rule, it's kind of like, oh, I have it upside down, which just makes it a little harder to read. Um, only once? Yeah, I think what you do, Tammy's like, you get, like, tell all your friends, like, I'm gonna go live, come over, and like, talk to me in the chat. So I it's like, okay, whew, it's like my friends. But I get it. I do. I when I st I've started, you know, the homeschool channel, and so some of you guys come over and, and talk to me over there when I go live. But sometimes it's like new people, and it's like I want to make a good impression, you know. And so I get nervous. But I, I completely get that. Yeah, because like nobody knows me, you know. Like part of the oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the marble. It's you know it says do unto others. As you would have them do unto you. So it's a little golden rule. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I just was really mesmerized by it. And it came with a little paper. Like so. That talks about the golden rule. Um, yeah. And there's, oh, there's a quote by J. Edgar Hoover. And Rabbi Martin White. And yeah. So the meaning uh, behind the golden rule. So yeah, interesting. <laughs> Um, oh, <laughs> all right, so let me put, oh, that's the scary, the scary part's your friends? No, the scary part's like not when there's people that you don't know, but now, honestly, it's like a, when you start getting to know people, I'm like, okay, because I honestly, I, I, okay, let's be real, since we're doing a haul and it's just you and, it's just you guys and me, I honestly was like, I was like, maybe I should just. I'm going to show you this necklace while I do this. I'm going to, I mean, maybe I should just pre-record this. It's been a kind of a rough couple days, you know, I maybe or maybe not made a mistake. I can't decide. My sister says no. So I'm t I tend to believe my sister. And then like I go on and I apologize and tell people I appreciate it. And people, I mean, not my friends, but some people are so mean about it. I ended up having to turn off commenting on videos and like, it was like, it turned into like almost a mob mentality. Like one person says something mean and everybody else was like, yes, get her. I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I ended up turning off commenting and I was like, all right, that's it. People are being me like, well, I made a mistake maybe or not. And then meanness. So anyway, whatever. I forget where I was going with that. But this is a string necklace with a little pineapple on it. There are people that are really into pineapples and i know that sounds maybe weird or maybe not but there are hi bet thanks for coming oh i'm so glad you work overnight oh i'm so glad i'm so glad um talk a lot with your hands oh thank you guys um yeah I, and unfor it's been unfortunate dan and so i was just sitting there i was talking to my sister Oh, it says aloha. Oh, it says aloha on the little hang tag. I was like, what? Aloha. Oh, super cute. Um, so yeah, I was talking to my sister and she was like, why are you still reading these comments? I was like, I don't know. Like, I want to be there. You know, like I told people I would listen and I appreciate their responses and I appreciate their input. I, you know, the constructive criticism. And then she was like, yeah, but these people are not being constructive, Margaret. Like you wouldn't listen to that lady that you wouldn't make the sale to. And now you're listening to all of this garbage. It's like, turn that stuff off. <laughs> totally, Lydia. We just sat in here and she was like, she watched the video and she, you know, I know she'll tell it to me straight. And she was just like, you just need to turn the commenting off. If you made a mistake, fine. Everybody makes mistakes. Why is it that your mistake is like, you know, pitchfork worthy? <laughs> I don't know. So, I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah. Pineapple, aloha. Really cute. Um, listen to my sister. Thank you. 
I, and honestly, I told myself I wasn't going to bring it up. I was like, I'm going to put on some makeup and fix my hair and just come and hang out and put it all behind me. So then here, here I am. Um, oh, funny. <laughs> Peterson says, my grandmother uh, was, and she had a shirt that said Italian mouth with an Irish attitude. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I was thinking about doing those one of those twenty three and Me things. They're, everyone's talking about their genealogy, their heritage, and stuff. Yes, Joe. Yes, <laughs> it was it was pretty bad. <laughs> Some of the comments, and like I say, like I really don't mind constructive criticism. I don't think I've ever turned off commenting on a video before, but it got ugly. It got ugly. Um, so this was two bucks. And again, this was one that I saw it. I was like, oh, it kind of looks like a cameo. I'm going to get it. But I did not peek at it too closely. So let's do. <laughs> Thank you, Tam. Yeah, Elaine was like, you wasted like so much of your day, like trying to go back and see what people are commenting. And you just need to turn that off. Um, so there's that. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, when I saw it, I was like, it kind of looks like a cameo. And now I'm looking at it. Still don't know what it is. Anybody? Oh, did you really? You did Ancestry found a brother? Oh, wow. That's cool. Me? I'm looking at it with my loop and I'm still unsure. Maybe it's a flower? I don't know. Um, chewing, yeah, it looks like chewing gum. So there's that. That's an. I don't know. I mean, it's not adjustable. I don't know. Wait, is there, there may be a mark, or it's just a weird, no, no mark. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, oh, I appreciate it. I don't need to have a voice. Um, yeah, my sister was telling me, you know, she had done hers, and she had her, you know, did her son and everything like that. Um, and so, I don't know, I was just like, maybe I should do it, because I'm, I think I know. I mean, I know what my grandparents were and my great grandparents, but I, you know, I guess everybody genetically has a different makeup, so you can see where you fall. Because my brother and I, my biological brother and I, don't look a whole lot alike at all. So, wow. Okay, so next up, this was um, this lady wrote Walt Disney World, small small world, two dollars. So I guess she got this. Um, I think it's called a Matroshkia. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. But the nesting dolls, which I, I do happen to collect, um, nesting dolls, a little nesting doll um, pendant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, but I wish I wish I had was able to get my sister to come on. We just didn't have very much time, so. Isn't that cute? I love her. She's so cute. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Tam. I really, I was like, I'm going to take a shower and do all the, the things that you do to make yourself feel better. <laughs> um, I would like to say I took that shower this morning, but no, I didn't. Matrosh, Matroshka. Um, anyway, so I, there's not a mark on it. It's not, I don't see a silver mark or anything. There's not a Disney mark either, but I guess I could just look it up and see. And my son got a, I'll have to look it up and see if that's something else that people have listed under Walt Disney World. Um, My son got a gun, like a toy gun, but it was one that came from the Indiana Jones ride, which is no longer there. The, um, the label was gone, so luckily the lady told us no, oh, my kids got that from the Indiana Jones ride. And so we were looking it up, and sure enough, you know, we've seen pictures of the exact gun outside the ride or something like that. I don't know, but he wants to keep it. Um, yes, yes. Okay, and then I got this bracelet, which was, you know, it was like iffy on, but I was like, okay, it was 50 cents. I mean, even if it ends up in one of my mystery boxes, it's. I mean, it's cool. Some people like it. It's a nice shape and all that good stuff. Okay, so that was my garage sale stuff. Um, and then I got, like I say, I spent a bit at the thrift store 
but they did have a sale in my defense. Um, oh, 62 watching us. Go give that a thumbs up, you guys. And how are we? Oh, he has 24 thumbs up. Okay. Oh, scoochie over. Okay. Um, I'm just going to dive into this bag. I didn't get a chance to like pour it out or anything. So I'll just show you what I've got. And again, the, the necklaces and the bracelets were buy one, get one free. Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, so, oh wait, were you talking about, talking about the Russian thing or my hair? Sorry, thank you. Oh, thanks, Lydia. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so this is the first piece I got, and it's a brooch, and it is bizarre. I'm not gonna, you know, it is, it's a fish and a head and shoulders and maybe a bird, but it, it was unique. I'm looking at the back. It's mixed metal. I spent $2.50 on it. And I think it's copper, brass, and possibly silver, silver tone. Uh, thank you. Hey, Kathy. So there's that. Um, I don't know what I would sell it for just yet, but I, I love finding things that are unique like this because there are people that look for just like the whimsical, the unique, the unusual, that kind of stuff. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, what's up? Yes, 27 likes now. Um, okay, then next I got this one, which was also 250. And it's a I guess I should take them off the cards, but I, I'm worried I'll forget what I paid for them. And I want to put that into my inventory notes. Hmm, okay. I'm I'm trying to look on the back to see if I see any kind of maker's mark. Some of them had maker's mark and some didn't. So I paid $250 for that. It's kind of like a stylized wheat brooch, like so. <clears throat> oh, so, oh, yeah, for that brooch. <laughs> Someone was like, I'm going to have some fun tonight, right? Yeah, for sure, uh, Firecat, weird stuff sells, yeah. And if you just came in, I did not get the chance to say hello to you. Hello, everybody. Hi, Kathy. Hi, everybody. And I'm sure I'm positive I missed somebody. O-M-F-U-G. I saw your name. Okay, so then this one, my son was very tempted to take for me. It's some kind of stone. Like all the beads are some kind of stone. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But it looks like some kind of parrot in there. And it's on a rope. Really long. I'm trying to see what the rope is. It's just kind of like a satiny braided rope. Oh, well, maybe it's not satiny. Now that I'm looking up close. <clears throat> oh, yay! Thanks, Joe. I'm so glad. Hi, Ariana. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> um, and so this was three bucks. And again, I'm not sure what I'll sell it for. But I mean, I think it will sell for more than three bucks. No, I don't think it's resin. It, it even like if you look at it up close, you can see how it's kind of carved. And it's definitely, can you hear that? Like it's got a stone, it's cold to the touch, it's got a stone like feel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's jade either. <laughs> um, but it has that same kind of feel, right? All right, so then there's this bracelet. Yes, yes, cool to the touch. This was two bucks, but they were buy one, get one free. So I at one point I ended up with an odd number, so I got a, I had to go like go get another bracelet or something. Hi, Kimberly, hello, hello. Maybe an agate. That's a possibility for sure. Okay, I got a couple of geometric style bracelets. And I, I I either have this one listed or I just sold it recently. So this was two bucks. I, like I say, either have this one or I have it still listed. But I, I think I sold it. I think I did. It's very mod, like plastic, polka dot, cool. And then this one is really kind of 80s. You know, again, two bucks, but they were buy one, get one free. It's it's got these geometric shapes, stretchy, blue and white. I mean, it was so fun, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, then this is another bracelet I got. Two bucks. I really like this one with the circles. And it goes like so. Yeah, you see the tags. You can see where I shopped. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Very mod. See, so this one again, it's got two chains with all these different colored, I mean, not different color, different sized circles. Cool. For two bucks. 
Blue and white one. Yeah, I'm going to put this one up for sale. If you, hey, if you see something you want, send me an email because then I can just send you an invoice on PayPal. Yeah. Fun. Isn't it fun? Okay, then I also, this was one that I wasn't originally going to get, but I this was one where I was like, okay, I need one more bracelet because I had buy one, get one free. So I liked the green. I don't find a whole lot of green, you know, and the stretch was still pretty good on it. So I got it. There we have it. Okay, then this one also was two fifty, and it's I didn't end up pulling it out all the way. Here we go, and it's you know just this kind of like chain bracelet. It looks like it's silver, but I don't really think it. Well, maybe I didn't look at it all the way on this. Uh -huh. Hang on, I'm gonna peek with my loop. I don't see. It could be stainless steel. It says JCM China. Ah, it's still cute. I mean, like for a little charm bracelet or something. So we'll see on that one. <laughs> yeah, right. What a surprise. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was two fifty for that little bracelet. Cute. And then, oh, look at this necklace. Okay, they had some really cool stuff. I kind of wiped them out, maybe. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, this, okay, here's the chain. This is metal. That's the chain for this necklace. And then the, I'm going to try to get this out of the way. It's very, I don't know. <laughs> so there is the pendant for this. I mean, it looks kind of like Viking or Celtic or something almost medieval or so, like that isn't that cool and then the back of it looks like so very very cool and that is the top part of it isn't it neat peterson yeah <laughs> i mean oh i don't know that was 250 as well again buy one get one free oh there is a maker's mark or a hang tag oh well Oh wait, let me go in. There's a hang tag. I'm trying to see what it says. Don't move. Bayer, S F. So B A E R, and then S F. So I'll have to look that up. I think that's pronounced Bayer. German? Is it German? Maybe. Yeah, super. In yeah, very interesting. Okay, then the next one. Oh, there we go. Is this? These, they're pink, they, can, they look clear up against my, but they're like this baby, baby pink. And they are, I'm trying to tell if, and they sound like glass, or they could be like a resin. They're really heavy. I don't know, maybe they may be glass beads. They feel like glass beads. So I think they're glass beads. <laughs> I'm going with glass. So it's a double strand kind of glass bead. Yeah, I think it's glass. It's cool to the touch. They're heavy. Hi, Perla. How are you? And maker. Oh, it's got a T. So that T, this T, let me turn it around. That's Talbot's. So Talbot's. Okay. Does Talbot still exist? I guess it does. I can't remember. I haven't been to the mall in forever. So I'm thinking it does. But it's really pretty. It looked like really nice quality. It looks like the same color as my hand. So anyway, again, they were buy one, get one free. So that was five bucks. But I was happy to pay it. Okay, then this is another one that I was really, when I saw it, I was like, oh, yes, I'm getting this. I won't keep this one. I usually keep stuff with fossils, but I, I'm not going to keep this one. This was three bucks or, you know, like I say, buy one, get one free. It's got this multi-strand necklace with like a marble closure. But then it has, yeah, it's similar to Chico's, yeah, or like Coldwater Creek, you know, that kind of thing. But it has an ammonite um, pendant. And I just noticed that the 
Ammonite pendant may have like silver between the, I'm trying to look at it close. They've done something to shine up. Mm, no, can't tell. Okay, so it's got this ammonite, which is fossil um, pendant on it. So that's really cool. That will um, bring the price up a little bit. So um, what resource or websites do you use to look up makers and symbols? And um, well, I'll, first I'll go, oh, what's the one I really, oh my gosh, my brain's full. Um, collect, I think it's called Collectors Weekly. Is that what, it, that's not what it's called? Um, I always ask in the group, so I have, you know, Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers, got to plug the group. But if somebody there doesn't know, I think it's called Collectors Weekly is one that I like to look up because they have like, is that the right name? I feel like I'm saying the wrong name, but maybe it's right. Um, so there and then, um, my brain just, yeah, Jewelry Lovers. Yeah, I, I'm going to. I would have to Google it, and I don't want to have to do it right now. But I think it's something like that, Collectors Weekly. Um, so then this was earrings and a pendant that look like little leaves. And these are screw back, you know, type clip-ons. And I didn't see a maker's mark on these. Hang on one second. But the usually somebody in the group knows. <laughs> They're pretty good about stuff like that. Um, and I, I think I'm going to have to save the rest of, I have quite a bit left, but I think I'm going to have to save it for tomorrow. I feel bad doing this, but I've got quite a stomach ache hitting me all of a sudden. Um, and so I'm going to have to put a pause in this, in this haul of the, I feel bad, but I've got quite a bit of this one left. So I'll, I'm going to come back and finish it tomorrow. I haven't, I don't think I've ever had to stop like that. Okay. I have one laying here still, so I'll show you that one. And then I'm going to have to take a time out. Um, so again, this is a necklace I got and it's got all these little charms on it. It's got, what is that? Um, maybe like a boomerang. Yes. Thank you. There's like a skull and arrowhead. And I, this one, I don't see a maker's mark on either, but I liked all the kind of native stuff on it. I apologize for stopping abruptly. You guys, uh, yeah. So there's that. Um, but I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and finish the rest of this. I feel bad, but I really do have to, to say I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you for coming, everybody. Go over there and click the thumbs up, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. See you later.